good morning and welcome to Great Day Washington. How about that new Great Day music to go along it. with our Monday music? I'm Marquette Shepard, if you're just joining us. And I'm Kristen Bursett Harris. Before we get started, we want to send our thoughts and prayers to everybody in Texas yes. that was affected by the shooting yesterday. Uh, we're thinking about you, and we'll have the latest updates as soon as they come on WUSA9.com. All right, November is Alzheimer Awareness Month, and our next guest is passionate about the yeah. cause. You know her from the Real Housewives of Potomac. Karen Huger, welcome. Welcome Bye. to Great Day. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited to be here, especially this month. This is a great time. This is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, and as we saw last season, yes. you we we saw a really personal side of you because yes. your mother is suffering from dementia. Yes, and your father recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Yeah, wow. it, it sort of took us aback, but we're blessed. Um, it's a disease that robs you of your memory. Mm -hmm. However, we are creating new memories as a family as we go through this. So I'm here to encourage everyone to just reach out. You're not alone. Alzheimer's Association is there, resources online. So much you can do to help your loved ones through this process, but also take care of yourself because this is also national caregivers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. need to recognize the caregivers. You need to recognize sure. the caregivers. We're a team in our family. Mm -hmm. um, my sister, Bridget, is a primary caregiver. My brother, Mario, and I, we chip in. So Bridget is our, we, draw, <laughs> we march to her beat. Mm -hmm. But together, we're able to pull all of this. Well, I know it's, it, it's tough when, for your parents, and I remember yeah. my grandmother, she didn't have Alzheimer's, but as she started to slow down, she wanted to stay in her own home. Absolutely. And my mom was there to get, you know, to help her with a nurse. And same thing with your parents. I mean, same thing with my parents, hence I'm in Great Falls right now waiting for daddy to say yay, but he said mind your own business. And you, <laughs> want, you know, you, you want to respect that process. Mm -hmm. um, I love the strength and dignity he lives with. Mm -hmm. And it's an example to me. And as long as he is able to make those decisions, I'm going to support him. I'm going to enjoy my pops. <laughs> so you have your sister who's yeah. helping out. Oh we God, saw yes. her on the show. Yes. Uh, your brother, we haven't met, Mario. Mm -hmm. How do you hold up knowing that I read you, you started a new business yes. recently. You're taking care of your daughter who's in college. Yeah. You have your adult son who, who I'm sure as a mom, you always take care of. <laughs> mm. How do you manage your life and take care of Karen when you're also a caregiver for your parents? You, you know what? I'm going to give many, many praises to my sister for allowing me to have this platform because if Bridget didn't do what she does, I wouldn't be here, mm. honestly, because I'd be the primary caregiver. So it's family. It's working together in unison. Um, when I started my fragrance line, thank you for uh, mentioning that, um, that was a long time dream of mine to do that. And so Bridget just said, go for it. I'm going to hold mm. it down. Then my brother stepped forward. We all work in unison. It's not one person. And sometimes I do want to encourage you also to step outside of the family boundary because this is massive. Uh, we don't talk about the caregivers that much, but I would say 35% of the caregivers of Alzheimer's patients, their personal health goes down because it's just that demanding. 19% mm -hmm. of those who care for their elderly parents, mm -hmm. no illness. That's what they reported. So 35%, wow. I mean, your personal health is everything. You ask the question, what do I do? I pray, I meditate, I work out. Um, it is important to take care of me while I go through this process with my parents. If you can't take care of yourself, you're not going to be able help. to take care of them. I have to be a priority in mm -hmm. my life. And we as women, we are the ones that take care of the home, the family, and the kids. But we really need that me time. And don't feel ashamed to be a little selfish for a me day or a me hour. Take it. It'll get you through. What was it? Two-thirds of uh, <laughs> caregivers are women? Yes. Wow. Yes. I mean, it... Not surprising, no. but it, it's, it's just such a large number. I am overwhelmed um, since I got on this journey. Oh, since mom and dad put me on this journey. <laughs> right, right. Knowledge is power. But again, ALZ.org, you're not alone. You're not alone. You, women, I walk up to women in grocery stores, or they walk up to me now, mm -hmm. and they share their story. Mm -hmm. And they are drained. And the only thing I can say is, look, go to the resource, go to the well, where, where there's a lot of strength at mm -hmm. ALZ.org, a lot of resources online. There's a lot of help that uh, we are willing to provide. And obviously I've picked up the charge. I noticed that you had a, you had your O Gala 
recently. Oh, let, let's correct it because my mom had a lot to do with that okay. and my sister-in-law. Okay. I actually called it the O. Huger Charity Dinner. The O. Huger Charity Dinner. Because it was okay. in the spirit of Mrs. Odessa Huger, my mother-in-law, who passed from Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So this has, I've been very wow. much involved. Absolutely. So I was going to ask you about your husband, Ray, and how he's holding up. Ray is holding up beautifully. That's my boo. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a soldier. He has a lot to do with supporting me um, behind this charge and hence I changed the direction of it to an O. Huger charity dinner okay. and we had Carson Kressley mm -hmm. MC. So, so it's not what you call it, it's what you do Okay, with so it. the name changed from the O Gala to the O. That was my dream, but Ray wanted it to reflect his family. It was gonna carry his mother's name mm -hmm. and she would have never done a gala, but it probably is gonna grow into a gala. That's my okay. hope. Okay. And Ray and I will revisit the title you after will revisit that. It. But in respect but the, for but him the, and his the, sisters. The yeah. foundation of it is there. I, I saw it in the New York Post on page <laughs> thank, six. Thank so you. So talk it, about getting a message out there and amplifying it. It was powerful. It. I am honored that page six uh, reached out to me for an interview because again, this you know, getting the information out there, getting the word out there, because mm -hmm. we are raising money to find a cure. And page six was a powerful step in the right direction. And again, thank you, thank you. Um, I'll be coming back to that well too, because until we find a cure, I won't stop. Mm -hmm. Well, we're so glad to hear that your, you. your parents are doing so well, but mm -hmm. thank you for using your platform for Welcome. such an Absolutely. incredible cause. I Absolutely. mean, it's there and you're and taking full strong. charge. I know you're staying strong <laughs> yes. right now. We can we can see it in your eyes. You, you know, I have to. Yeah. I have to stay strong. And everyone, stay strong, but we're only humans. But mm -hmm. we appreciate you being real. Thank you. When so many people just want to stop, you keep going. Nope. This is why I'm a real housewife. I'm real. Like, you, you are real. <laughs> That's why she's the she girl. Share the story. Share the story. Share the story. <laughs> well, while we have you here, were you will, willing to join us with some uh, trending stories? Please, bring some joy. I love the gossip. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go to tea. Let's well, do we that. We talk about you using your platform, and mm -hmm. one little thing can make such a difference. And you have country star Brad Paisley, oh, and when yeah. he tweets the CMAs, listen, the country star and co-host of the awards took to Twitter Friday saying it was ridiculous and unfair for the CMAs to ban reporters from asking about recent incidents of gun violence, including what happened at a country concert in Las Vegas. And then the CMAs quickly lifted the restriction. Okay. Smart move. Mm -hmm. The show takes place this Wednesday, but good for Brad Paisley. He's the host of the CMAs, and he put it out, put them out there on blast. Right. Well, so kudos, what do you think about that? Kudos to him. You know, rarely are we given a platform in life that we can affect so many for mm -hmm. positive. That was brave of him, and I respect that. And it needed to be done. Um, this is something that we need to put a stop to. Mm -hmm. And so. Yes. Kudos to him. Absolutely. Not, not being I afraid wonder, to speak up. Do you ever put restrictions on reporters and, and say I they don't. cannot ask me this before so, I come? So far, no. So far, no. I <laughs> she did not put any on us. No, no, so I, no, you know, I'm an open book. Um, just don't write my pages. Don't fill them in with your words or your or right. your version. I get that. Um, so no, 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 no. Absolutely, absolutely. I am open to questions as long as you are open to my truth. Mm -hmm your story to tell, not ours. <laughs> In New York City this weekend, here's an uplifting story. An American makes history. Shailene Flanagan from Massachusetts became the first American women to win the New Look York City go. Marathon in 40 Amazing. years. Amazing. Shailene beat out the favorite from Kenya with a time of two hours, 26 minutes and 53 seconds. Two hours and 26 minutes. There's 50,000 runners, amazing. two and a half million Look at spectators. Her and she's smiling. I know. Right? <laughs> well, I read. I is this that. true? The New York Marathon goes through all five boroughs, and mm -hmm. she did that all in two hours. You can't even do that and in a car. No, exactly. <laughs> no, you can't. And she just walked it. I, I love girl power. Yes. Yes. It yes. was she. You know, she really wanted to do the uh, Boston Marathon. That's where she's from. Okay. But she had hurt herself, and she hasn't run the New York City Marathon in several years. And she just went out there and Killed said, it. "I'm going to be in pain, whatever I need to be in to beat." this and win. push through. So, so are you a runner? I know you like to work I out. I was a runner. Um, I did injure my ankle in February. Right. I'm, I'm still recovering from that. Cannot wait to run again. Cannot. Okay. I'm working toward it. So hopefully I'll get that clearance. It's important to be active. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. Work out, ladies. Work be out. active and be healthy. Now, I yes. don't know, Karen, yeah. Kristen, yeah. if you were one of the millions of people who stood in line and paid $1,000 for mm -mm. the new mm -mm. iPhone mm -mm. X, mm -mm. I wasn't either. Mm -mm. But a new report from <laughs> CNET is saying don't drop that phone, guys, because the mm. all glass casing can crack on the first drop. Now, the CNET really? report says that a reporter went out to test it. It's the 10th anniversary iPhone. She went and dropped it three feet 
above the sidewalk and the glass from three of the four cor corners cracked. It scuffed the camera mount. And CNET warns, if you don't get the Apple Care plan, mm -hmm. you could be paying $550 to repair it, okay? okay? What do you think about this, guys? It's the Apple That's not three feet. Not, that's not from that high. Three feet. Right here, yes. right? It's a yardstick, guys. It's not okay. Uh, Four thousand dollars. Let's say I'm going to hold on to my six plus. Yeah. <laughs> How about <laughs> that? Perfectly fine with mine. And I'll just listen to the reports and, and watch the lines on you. My uh, no. My ten-year-old <laughs> stepdaughter. We were at lunch on Friday. We we're asking, like, you know, start getting your Christmas list together. And she's like, I want an iPhone X. And mm. I'm like, yes, yeah, so wow. Oh, yeah. Not gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, you gotta I'm be really wait. nice for that, right? That's right. Now, your daughter's in college. Yes. I'm sure she's calling you like, Mom, I need the latest technology. No, she knows she's on the budget. No, she's, she's on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> she's on the college student budget. Uh -huh. And uh, no, and she's really horrible. I'm sorry, Raven. <laughs> She's horrible with her phone, so that phone wouldn't stand a chance no. because she, she, you know, she drops them all the time. I'm yep. repairing them all the time, but it's affordable. You're saying five hundred dollars if to it's $550. not. No, no, Raven wants that for her, you know, I guess dresses to okay. go out, you know, her hair, her makeup. <laughs> yeah, She's a smart girl. Else. She wouldn't okay. try that. I hope all right, not. parents. Well, the funny thing is, I read that report and I immediately switched my case from the the little wrap case uh -huh. to like the the one that folds into a cushion because I'm like, look, even if it's like hundred dollars, I don't want to go through the process of repairing oh, my no, phone. Oh, did you get it? Uh, no, no, okay. no, no. But I don't well. even want to repair my iPhone. So. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I'm getting ready to say, don't, don't buy that Thank thing. Thank you. Yet. No, no. Down is also you never buy it when it's new, anyway. So. I love a good budget now. <laughs> I have to learn about that. <laughs> yes. I own that. Right, you own the budget now. I own okay. the budget. Good from God. From moving from Potomac to Great, to Great Falls, Falls, you know, and, and it, it's about. been a, it's been a fabulous experience. I will not lie to you. I now understand we don't have to gather everything. We don't need to always be gathering, purchasing. I've gone. Okay. I have so many things that. I was buying over and over again. Mm. No. Interesting. Great, great, okay. Great lesson. This is good, this is good to know. So now yeah. you know you don't have to buy as much. No, you will really don't. Will we see don't. that in season three? I wonder. You will see it. You will I'm hear it. Ray, down the my Raymond gets real. <laughs> Raven but so do real. I. So do I. And and a budget. When uh, I want to just plug that really quickly. When a woman is talking about starting a business, your pri your, your priorities have to shift financially. Yes. You've got to invest in your new baby. And mm -hmm. this is my new baby. So. All right. well, we wish you the best of Thank luck with that. Thank you coming. again for, Thank you. for sharing your story with I us. I appreciate it. Karen Thank you. Kruger, great to see you. Thank we'll be you. back right after this.